allow me to assist the court. And uh, without listening to the speech, not an application made by my colleagues uh, on the petition aside, but Lord, I just want to state that uh, the deputy president filed his petition on Friday. And my Lord, on the same day, he got conservatory orders. My Lord, he accessed justice in accordance with the framework in Article 48 of the Constitution. But my Lord, justice cuts both ways. My Lord, the respondents on the same day filed an application to set aside those conservatory orders. My Lord, properly constituted, this court has issued directions that those applications be heard today. My Lord, under the Mutunga rules, there is a fundamental doctrine which we are all missing. The doctrine of timely resolution of that kind of disputes, especially disputes that are of immense public interest. So, my Lord, if you look at the applications which have been made, or speech made by the, by, 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 by the petitioners, my Lord, you will see that they want to split hairs. My Lord, the Constitution expressly provides that the Chief Justice shall appoint uh, a bench to sit on matters which raise substantial questions of law. But my Lord, at the same time, that Constitution which requires to be read conjunctively says the Deputy Chief Justice shall deputize the Chief Justice. So my Lord, what is the fuss about it? So my Lord, my request is that the application this speech by the, by the petitioners is solely meant to delay the business of the day. And my Lord, I request in public interest, my Lord, I request in public interest that you give directions. We proceed with the application. We are here to respond. The application uh, for conservatory orders. And my Lord, you also hear our application to set aside the conservatory orders. My Lord, that will make juridical sense and promote public interest. Thank you.